Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, I'm looking to do That's why I'm fine, my life with you Layer my necklaces Hey, y'all Guess who it is? Hey y'all. WTV vibe. <laughs> it's like, it's Lily, y'all, and I'm back with a new video. Mm -hmm. Back. And I'm in a new look. So send me your look. It's like, nah. I'm in a new location, y'all. New vibes. I don't know what, if I'm going to title this vlog slash big move, big move vlog. Should I clickbait it? I don't know. We'll see when it gets posted what I actually make the title of this. But yeah. Okay, eyebrows. I see y'all. Thank you. I'm a little nasally, y'all. My allergies are acting a fool. Um, but it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's our first weekend day out here. Well, we had Friday. We had some wine, but we went to sleep early. <laughs> But yeah, we about to go to the smoke shop, y'all, because niggas have to, you know, pass drug tests because we got to get these jobs out here. So, but we going to the smoke shop. This and is my first appearance on <laughs> Cakes. Thanks. Uh, two, so, you know what I'm saying? WTV squad. <laughs> Come fuck with my baby. You know? You did? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, don't be weird, y'all. Spread the love growth growth i'm a different person this is post graduation it's a lot of different content coming y'all it's currently real month three and is this august yeah it's august it's august of 2021 so yeah stay tuned we're gonna get in the car we're gonna be driving on the highway i'm gonna show you some highway clips um but i'm so excited to start this year journey of vlogging i know it's kind of late in the year but you know this is where i want to start it's where i'm comfortable was starting it was a lot going on at the beginning of this year a lot of good a lot of bad a lot of in between and i'll share that with y'all as we continue but yeah stay tuned baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced okay y'all so we're actually at the smoke shop now i don't know if i can see it hey drum but they had everything we needed. Um, they got some cool stuff. Sure. Y'all, we're back. We're at Raisin Cane's. I've never been here before. How you doing? How you doing? Um, may I have three chicken finger combos, please? Uh, can we have two uh, large sweet teas? Uh, two large sweet teas, please. One combo. No, two combos. I want one combo. I don't want my own. Huh? I don't want my own. Oh, you don't want your own? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, one combo. Yes, one three chicken finger combo and two sweet teas, please. Okay. So, one three finger combo and two large sweet teas. Anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. So yeah, we went to Big Lots. I just got like a bin because I didn't have nothing to put like my underwear and bras and socks in. Like we don't have furniture yet. So I had to get some bins and a little trash can for the bathroom. Thank you. Now we're getting food. Yeah, we might do a mukbang for y'all. Mukbang? A mukbang, mukbang. Right, we're doing post up somewhere, y'all. We ain't about to dig our feast. I had this before. Um, I, I, I want little to taste this shit. And they sweet too. Grandma sauce. I got it. Thank you so much. Thank you for seeing this And it's raining out here, yo. What the hell? Facts. I had this feeling in my bones when I woke up this morning. I'm like, it is going to rain. And I checked the radar and it was like 
100 degrees and I'm like yeah okay it's going to rain and it rained a little bit so it cooled down just a little bit. Can I have king sauce please? Huh? May I have extra king sauce? Yeah. They got honey mustard here too. Yeah. Oh honey mustard too. Honey mustard and king sauce. Mm -hmm. Honey mustard I guess and king sauce. Huh? Honey mustard and king sauce please. But yeah, I'm gonna check in. All right, y'all. I'm back. I got raisin canes. I'm excited. I got honey mustard. Mm. Grandma sauce. Mm. Grandma sauce do something different to me. I'm gonna get the bread first. We got angles. There's gonna be a video on my channel and a video on his channel, so check them out. Y'all, grow these channels. Fat. I know y'all hear my baby talking. Mm. I'm gonna try this grandma sauce. I have one right here. Oh man. Grandma sauce is jumping. Oh, yeah. Still for one cup. That's 10. Chicken fingers ain't never taste so good. <laughs> Y'all don't comment saying we boosted or we spicing and shit neither because Bro We ain't from on this side So The closest thing we got to this is Hargy You know Bro, okay. <laughs> mm. And Hargy even got shit to own this like Uh oh uh -huh. Not even a little bit And What our day consisted of so far y'all i'm so fucking weak like i was not talking for like a good minute to three minutes right here like i was not saying nothing i was just eating we went and got some moon rocks and eating um, and stuff in my face the Delta eight hemp moon <laughs> so rocks, i apologize for that but Delta yeah i guess it's a mukbang and this is mukbang content <laughs> yo this was from a, a smoke shop, gang. Like, Texas is so fucking advanced in, 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 in the past. The East Coast. They selling moon rocks in a smoke shop, bro. Like. Mm, at this point. Yeah, I want to fully, like, furnish and decorate um, the apartment soon here so once we get it fully furnished we'll do a fully furnished apartment tour i'll probably do it on my page and i'll do like the bedroom tour and all of that oh my goodness i'm dripping sauce but tell them to catch it man <laughs> if you dripping it tell them to catch it I'm crying. but y'all i know i keep saying y'all 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 <laughs> It's we, gotta, our, we gotta get, you know what I mean? It's our first weekend out here. We gotta get our damn soft lingo on, y'all. We're getting acclimated. Mm -hmm. And we're really, I mean, like, yes, we have, um, so I have some of my family that lives here, which is really just like my god brother and his kids and wife. So to be honest, like we really moved down here. We're not, no family, really just us. So everything's new. Like we, we didn't grow up coming down here all the time and stuff like, this is new um so every adventure you know what i mean every day really is an adventure every day is going to be new um i gotta relearn how to drive out here on these different highways like i said yesterday mm -hmm. but that's the exciting part about moving somewhere new is that everything is should be an adventure like every day should be an adventure i come from a small town where nothing's an adventure everything's the same every day people are the same doing the same stuff so just coming somewhere where everybody seems to be from somewhere else mm -hmm. on their own mission to success and just to enjoy their lives and to get away and that's what i've noticed like a lot of people have been kind of transparent with us like they are they're getting away from a lot of the toxicity from their hometowns um we met shorty <clears throat> yesterday actually um where was she from she was from missouri, missouri. Mm -hmm. so Moving me and people from Boston, Missouri, just everywhere. East Coast, the West Coast, the South. 
good, man. We met some shorty at the um, Dollar General yesterday. And um, I'm like, where are you from? Because basically she was just being nice. Like, make a long story short, she was being overly nice, but not overly nice to the point where it was annoying because she was just showing love, basically. Um, so we ended up having a conversation after where, where she's from. She said uh, Missouri. We said Delaware. Um, and to make a long story more shorter, we asked her what was uh, the reason for coming out here. And she was just like, man, she got some trouble. She got some hot shit. And San Antonio was just like a place for her to, you know what I mean? Come out here and, and, and restart, basically. Like, refresh. Uh, get a sense of grasp, <laughs> I guess. Like, a grip to yourself, you feel me? And that's kind of exactly why we came out here, you feel me? It may not have been... Uh, any danger or none of that, but it was just to get a grip of our life, man. Uh, just to make sure everything that we want to achieve and everything that we want to uh, accomplish in this lifetime for us and our uh, our children, our family, um, that we can actually achieve that shit, man. Now focus up. It's just really time to focus up and crunch, crunch time, man. And, and, and that's what you can see is the common denominator here in San Antonio. It was like everybody come from their own different backgrounds and shit, but Overall, everybody coming here because they know there's more opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? So, more of the story is don't stunt your growth for comfortability. You feel me? Don't stunt your growth for comfortability. Um, always think outside the box. Always put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, man. Because at the end of the day, that's just more knowledge. But that's me rambling and shit. This, this shit going. <laughs> this it's going. Gone. But yeah, don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to move out of your parents' house. Don't be afraid to move out of your grandma or auntie's house. Don't be afraid to just branch out and do whatever makes you happy. Don't make yourself smaller for anybody else. Don't minimize yourself. You're going to have naysayers. Like, up to the point of us literally touching down here nobody was acting like they was really happy for us like they were really giving us a hard time and making it feel very impossible yep. um for us to get here and telling us that it's like oh y'all shouldn't or this reason or that reason or y'all don't got this lined up or y'all don't got this organized and y'all are wrong and just everything you know what i mean you could say negatively but it took us staying focused like it took us like staying you know forget all the naysayers forget all the negativity we have to do something positive like we have to make a move so that we can branch out we can explore like we're so that we don't become stuck so um, don't be afraid to even if you don't got thousands in the bank millions in the bank job whatever just don't be afraid to do if there's an opportunity if you see a light at the end of, the, of a dark tunnel like nine times out of ten follow that light take it That's real sure. yeah don't let nobody else dim your light otherwise don't just start xing out your own opportunities you know what i mean just for the comfort and for everybody else because i could sit here and be like you know my mom my mom is sick i shouldn't leave or she just had surgery i shouldn't leave you know my, my my little brother needs me this person of course they do you know what i mean but i can't take care of anybody if i'm not taking care of myself if i'm not in the place where i need to be if i'm not stable how can i care for anyone else they're just gonna drag me down so yeah I'd have y'all a little bit. Uh, my baby's spinning shit, y'all. Because, basically, everybody got something going on. And it was hard for me to kind of comprehend this coming up. You feel me? But everybody always got something going on. Do not let the image, don't let the world, don't let what you see. You feel me? Um, y'all please don't mind me with this Raisin Cane's box. I was trying to get the thumbnail. Ew. Per. Anyways. Persevere. Strive, man. Um, be great. Let every day be as better as your last day for real for Because, man, we human. We human. We live in a world of sin, so. We're going to be going through something, but don't let that define who you are don't let that dictate what, what your outcome gonna be yo straight up but 
be out of here. I'm definitely dropping this video today, too. <laughs> I'm dropping this shit today. I'm gonna get more consistent, y'all. My new goal is to try to drop videos. I don't know. Uh, maybe every once a week, maybe once every two weeks, but I do want to start making. Mm, okay, my little hairs. Okay, I do want to start having more content to y'all because my life has changed a lot i'm not a full-time student i'm not at my university anymore i'm a grown-ass woman so <laughs> i'm about to take y'all into the life of me post-grad what, what bay and with brandon you know it'll be featuring him for sure but yeah i'm working on get uh why is my darkness like this i don't know yeah and yes i think my phone's gonna try to check but <laughs> I'm gonna end this part of it right here. Thanks for this yes. mukbang with raisin canes. I'm gonna get chunky, y'all. I lost all my weight. I came back from Africa thick. I lost all my weight. All my weight. Cause stress is real. And like some people stress eat and some people stress under eat. And I'm a stress under eater. So, and it was just getting to the point where I was like, I don't even wanna be spending my money on this same food where I was living. So I'm excited to just be living, but yeah. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Y'all, I'm back, but we're at the pool. Wow. I'm going to take my face. Mm -hmm. At the pool, I'm going to enter the pool. I look oily. Um, <clears throat> sound crusty. But yeah, yeah, we at the pool, yeah. <laughs> you say, you know, I got to take a dip. <laughs> No, it's so nice. Yeah, there's people out here grilling. But I'm gonna get back to y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Your girl is gonna be posting more videos very soon.